welcome to this tech and trains channel video and in this video I'll be showing you how to operate and showing you the timetabling system which will later control signals but at the moment just timetables trains and announces them for this I'm using Raspberry Pi and all the programs are coded by me the announcements are using eSpeak and I'll just show you how to work it if I can get this to focus on the screen so I've already started the um, announcements application. You can see the window in the background. Just go click on accessories. So if you can see it, it's the application menu just gone, just opened. It's touch screen, then I can say train display. It's my app now running. Second up, right. So this is the announcements. Yep, that's the announcements control panel. Um, at the moment, not in service and terminates here. Announcements won't be announced. But I'll just show you what happens if I and just click on not stopping. As you can see, I probably should be wearing the headsets, but the headset. But I don't particularly like wearing head headset while. Um, doing model trains so yeah but you can also close the station using that but I'm not going to do that for now and that just creates a load of annoying announcements but I'll show you how to create an in-service train Ooh. oh I clicked it too many times yep I clicked it too many times just get rid of those windows right so what time should we set the train? It's 9.53 now, so it is 10.01. Expected 10.01, that'll be on time. Coach is 2. I'll use that train over there for this. And operator, Arriva, trains. Ooh, I'm just type there, yeah, I'm just type Wales platform. What happens when we send to platform two? Calling at should say London Euston only. Wait, get that focus back in, and then its destination is. London Euston. So that should announce at 10.01. Just create that train. Right, if the train's now created at 10.01, it will be announced. You can see at the top. 10.01, London Euston expected 10.01. Arriva Trains Wales. And for the further future, there will be a screen around the layout. I've got another. Raspberry Pi coming up here that will control relays, that will control the points, the signal and the signals and everything else, depending on the timetable. But at the moment, I've just got the announcement set up. So we'll get the train running from over there, and we'll hear the announcements at 10.01. This train is running on DCC. Right, so as we can see, the class 150 is now putting into the station. Unfortunately, I got the platform wrong on the announcement, so it will announce it on platform 2 instead of pulling into platform 3. But anyway. Right, the train is now pulled into platform 3. We'll announce this platform 2. Time is 10 o'clock. This train was set up as the 10.01 for either train service. 
So we should see what happens shortly. Right, so the time is 10 o'clock. In about 30 seconds, the announcement will go off for the 10.01 service. Um, I didn't really allow for the fact that the average time before it announces, I mean, it announces before the train leaves is two minutes, because that just makes the system overly complicated and not so easy to use. And for those people who have travelled on trains like Arriva and Northern will know that they're generally not on time by a few couple of minutes, at least. So that's all set up and should and be announcing it shortly. And that was the announcement, it may have been a bit quiet because I'm using headphones, I've just turned the volume up. Well that was the announcement. So we can now start and drive the train in the other direction. Put it back on here. Now the train will depart. So that is the 10.01 scheduled Arriva train service to London Euston. And this train does call at London Euston only according to the announcements. So thank you for watching this video. Um, more updates on this project will be coming soon. I have got the other Raspberry Pi downstairs. Um, waiting, that will control the signals via relays. Which also that, I'm just waiting for the wires to turn up. Um, there will also be videos on DCC and those tutorial videos, they'll be coming out soon. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.